The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 717 We Burn Quickly Valet wasn't sure if she slept. Night had fallen outside, and the world stopped changing around her, harsh water breathing softly at her side. The only indication time had passed was that someone had come by and shut their door the rest of the way since jam jars left it ajar. Was the Pegasus asleep? She couldn't tell without looking. After their conversation, she didn't feel like doing much of anything, mostly because she had no idea which direction to go. Eventually, she shifted slightly, testing the water. It tastes like I threw up in my heart, Harshwater mumbled. Sounds nasty, Valet replied. I don't know what to do. Harshwater rolled over, groaning. This feels so undignified, but I already threw out every ounce of shame and dignity I had surviving Mistvale. And then, getting better ridden for weeks, uh, she stretched, reaching with her hind legs. Why is this so hard? Valet got her shoulder beneath her, lifting her head upright and wincing at the tightness in her back. What's up? Remember, truce on beating ourselves up. I know, I know, Harshwater sighed. How do you handle being completely shameless? I thought I could do it once, and now the things I did back then are just embarrassing. You saw me when we were clearing out Kara's old house. Valet shrugged. Stealing his paintings? Yeah, I remember. And beats me too. I used to be an expert on it, and now it's like... I can't at all. You feel like that's a bad thing, though? She raised an eyebrow. I'm not all that proud of a lot of the stuff I did back then, either. Good question. Harshwater leaned back with her forelegs folded behind her head. Why? Valet asked. You got something you want to do, but something won't let you? Harshwater sucked in a long breath. You know what your problem is? She eventually asked, changing the subject. You burned too quickly. I might have had a long time with you on my mind, waiting around in Ironridge, thinking about almost dying, but tell me I crossed your mind even once until we ran into each other in Mistvale. Not my company, me as an individual. And since then, we've maybe been grumpy at each other once or twice, but that's it. Yet here we are, having deep, special conversations about feelings and whatever else that you only have with lifelong friends or loved ones. You somehow see no problem with this, for whatever reason I'm going along with it. Probably has something to do with saving my life. Do you see any problem with this? Ah, Valise ears twitched. I mean, when you put it like that, it sounds not the greatest. But what are we going to do, just not talk about it? We clearly need to, and it's not like you're going to find any real lifelong friends all the way out here. You're right about that, Harshwater sighed. Back in the mercenaries, I had two friends I trusted with everything. Two that were still alive, that is, and not counting Kiro. I'm not going to tell you why I trusted him, because I knew them for a very long number of years, and the reasons would take all night. A lot of ponies had more, but, well, I'm me. Have you ever had anything remotely like that? Because I'm starting to wonder who he has. Well, a bitter lip. Well, I mean, Maple and Amber grew up together as kids, right? And Shinespark had family. And Amber is one of the only well-adjusted ponies on the ship, along with Slipstream. Harshwater's cheeks puffed in a pout. Shinespark doesn't count. I've heard from Arambai, and she went years without seeing him, never saw Dior, and never was close to Mobius either. But look at Starlight the Runaway, or Jam Jars the Runaway. And you didn't answer my question about you. Valet winced. Hey, I haven't had all that much time for this. You know how old I am, right? Harshwater's ears drooped. It took three days. Three days to quit your job and run away with Maple and Starlight, and I doubt you had anything worth staying for. I can feel it in the ship's air. There's just something here that makes friendships form in the blink of an eye and then try to be for each other what ponies elsewhere spend decades building. 
Maybe you can't feel it because you've never seen anything else, and maybe that's a big part of why it's there, but it is. Bananas? Decades? Valet laid back into the bed. I mean, you're probably right. I'm only seven. That's a lot more time than I know the meaning of. Oh, she stared at the ceiling. So, what do you want me to do about it? Harshwater frowned. I don't know what you can do. This whole boat is full of ponies who travel and have no roots, and it's too new of a community to have long-lasting roots with each other like my company used to. But, for my sake, slap me if I start getting a crush on you. You don't have one already? Well, I blinked in confusion. You've literally just spent the past however long inviting me into your room and cuddling in bed. No, I don't, Harshwater grumbled. And I say that having seen ponies in love for real. And isn't this standard behavior around here? What, sleeping in a pile? Valet shrugged. I mean, it's sort of a cultural thing in Riverfall, I think. Harshwater rolled again until she was laying on her belly, chin stuffed between her forelegs. Right, well, I don't, but I can't promise I won't later if you keep treating me the way you have been. Oh, neither of us are fit to be in a relationship. The Empire has laws, and you don't have too many suitors already. I don't want to get hurt because we don't know each other well. I had enough of that with Kiro. Valet raised an eyebrow. That why you were asking about being shameless earlier? Something like that. Oh, Schroeder stared at the wall, trying to rationalize things. Enjoying the moment. You asked me to feel good, didn't you? Uh, Valet set up a little further. Yeah, well, guess what? She reached forward and grabbed harsh water in another hog. There you go. Platonic hogs are a thing around here, if Maple and Amber have anything to say about it. And it's not often I'm feeling shameless and not awkward enough to indulge. No pretense, no consequences. Knock yourself out. I feel ridiculous enough already, Harshwater grumbled. I can't believe I'm having a conversation about this. And this is what I mean by quick burn. But... She returned the hug. Neato, the late grinned. And look, at least it's a way more pleasant conversation than talking with Crystal. Now that's not the way you want to talk about feelings. Harshwater sucked in a breath. Does she brag about her lover while flirting with you too? Vali blinked. Wait, that's not just me? The two mares looked at each other. One of these days, Harshwater sighed, you're going to help me when I try to give her a medical check, and we will share each other's pain. End of chapter 717